Hello everyone. In 1820, while Hans Ostead was taking a class, he accidentally found out that when he switched on the battery and current started flowing in the conductor, the magnetic needle kept near the conductor deflected. So after this observation, he was very much amazed and he thought that there must be a relation between the electric current and the magnetic field. So after that, he did a lot of investigations and experiment and after three months, he came out with the conclusion that there is a relation between the electric current and magnetic field. So today we'll try to learn that what all experiments Austin performed and how do we find out the magnetic field of that electric current. So let us first learn that what all experiments he did. He took a electric wire and then he connected that wire to the battery and through a switch and he had also taken a magnetic needle to show the deflection. Now when he switched on the battery he found out that current started flowing from A to B since current always flows from positive to negative. So he found out that when he switched on the battery the moment he switched on the current started flowing and at the same time the magnetic needle deflected in downward direction. So by this observation it is proven that the electric current was producing some magnetic field that was deflecting the needle. So now he has to find out that whether the magnetic field also depends on the position of the point. So he moved the compass away from the electric wire and he then found out that the deflection decreased from its previous value. So he concluded that as he moves away from the wire, the strength of the magnetic field produced by that electric current decreases. Now he had to find out that whether the direction of magnetic field produced by this electric current also depends on the position of the point or not. So he took the compass and then he placed it above the wire and then when he switched on the battery he found out that the magnetic needle deflected now in upward direction. Previously it was being deflected in downward direction and now it is being deflected in upward direction. So he concluded that the direction of magnetic field also depend on the position of the point. In the first case, the needle was kept below the wire so it was deflecting in the downward direction and in the second case, it was kept above the wire so it was de being deflected in upward direction. So by this experiment, Austin concluded that the magnetic field produced by an electric current depends on two things. First is the distance of point from the electric wire. Second thing is that its direction also depends on the location of the point with respect to the wire. So we can conclude that only two things are required to find out the magnetic field from an electric wire. First is distance and second is location of point from the electric wire. Now since the direction of magnetic field produced by an electric current depends on the location of the point, so it will be different for different points. So we have to find out a way by which we can find out the direction of magnetic field at any point due to an electric conductor. So for that we use right hand thumb rule. Now since I am saying we are using right hand thumb rule so as the name suggests it must have something related to right hand thumb. So to apply this rule you first have to take your right hand and take the thumb of the right hand. Remember to take your right hand. This is my, my right. You have to take your right. So after you took your right hand thumb 
then you have to see for the conductor. Now let's say that this is a conductor. It don't seem like a conductor. Let's assume that this is a conductor for time being. Now you have to put the thumb of your right hand in such a way that it points in the direction of electric current. Let's say that this arrow points in the direction of electric current. So I have, will take my right hand and hold the conductor in such a way that my thumb points in the direction of electric current. So now it is pointing in the direction of electric current and let's say that I have to find the magnetic field in front of this conductor. So now we have to find the magnetic field at this point. So all you have to do is that you have to curl the fingers of this right hand. So the curling of the fingers, the direction of curling of the fingers give the direction of magnetic field. Now if you will see that my fingers are pointing in left direction that is my left. So the direction of magnetic field will be in this direction. The direction is shown by this arrow. So now if we have to find the direction of magnetic field behind the conductor, again we have to apply the same concept. Again I will curl my fingers in such a way that they crosses the point. So at this point they are pointing in right direction. So the magnetic field behind the conductor will be in rightward direction. So now let's suppose that we have to find the magnetic field surrounding this wire. So now if you curl your fingers you will find out that the curling of the fingers will form complete circles and the direction is anti-clockwise. So we can say that the magnetic field due to electric current moving in upward direction results in a magnetic field of circular in shape that is anti-clockwise in nature. Now if I flip this arrow or if I flip the direction of this current into downward direction. So now if we have to calculate the magnetic field I have to reverse my hand. I have to hold the conductor in this man. So now you will find out that my thumb is pointing towards the direction of the electric current. And now if I curl my fingers you will find out that they will form circles which are in clockwise direction. So the magnetic field due to downward direction electric current will be in clockwise direction. So this is how we calculate the magnetic field at any point due to any electric conductor.